it's another splendid day here on the ranch. Alright everybody, so what we're going to do today is we're going to refill this hay feeder. And this is an idea I came up with after wasting a whole lot of hay. And I'll show you some video of the piles that we have around. They've just about cleaned this one out. There's maybe uh, 25, 30 pounds of wasted hay out of this probably 800 pound bale. So all this is is a cattle panel and some large springs. These are garage door helper springs. They're 100 pounds. So this is one of the piles that uh, the goats had been leaving. Now this pile is, it was much bigger than that. It's kind of been sitting here and it's star already started to break down. So this was the waste from one round bale, which are, my round bales are about eight, 900 pounds. And this was probably a good 25% of the bale that they wasted. Once I switched over to this setup, I have much, much less waste. And they don't get in it, they don't make a mess out of it, and they eat all of it, which is what we're doing. So I'm gonna show you how I reload this, and uh, we'll let the goats get to eating. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my tractor to get the uh, get this round bale off the truck. And I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, fence panel is sitting just there in the driveway. So I'm gonna try to get that set up, and then I'll show you how I strap everything down. Alright, so my round bales are net wrapped, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the uh, cut the net wrap off and then we'll throw a uh, ratchet strap over that, we'll get that thing kind of snugged up, hook, hook our springs up, and that's it. All right, the last thing that we have to do is hook these springs onto the other side. Now, you don't have to get crazy tight with your ratchet strap because you're only going to hold as much weight as these springs will hold. These are 100 pounds a piece. I could probably do just two, but I had three, so that's what I got. All right, so that's that. These are just um, replacement chain link. I don't know the, the size of those. They're pretty good size. I bought a six pack of them at the, I think at the tractor supply for $10 or something along those lines. So that's it. Now, I will go ahead and take this back over to the, to the pasture. I'll just set it down on this side and, uh, and they'll start eating it. And they do a pretty good job of not wasting all that so let's get the camera reset and uh, we'll show you how we do that all right so that's how we get the uh the rat hay bale in here you can see my um, 16 foot fence panel doesn't quite make it all the way around but that's okay they'll just eat this off and They'll be fine. They're over there staring at us, waiting for us to get out of their way so that they can start eating on this. Um, these are four by five foot, and they're a full four foot by five foot roll. I buy this off of a guy who raises and keeps horses. Uh, when you're raising goats, most folks will try to sell you some cow hay, but I have had no problems with this. Whenever I bought cow hay in the past, the goats, they just, they don't like it. So. Um, this bale right here will last me somewhere around a month. Again, I've got my sturdy uh, cattle panel 
cover on it, keeps most of the rain off of it. With these cattle panels, the goats cannot get up on top of the hay bale, which is very important. I have used just regular field fence in the past and did something similar, but as they eat that, they push the field fence down. They cannot push the, uh, the cattle panel down. The cattle panel costs you about $22. Uh, I've got $10 in the springs. Uh, very cheap and efficient way to feed goats round bales. Uh, I have some other square bale feeders that I have made. They don't work as well. They tend to waste more, uh, a whole lot more work hauling square bales than it is to haul round bales. I haul mine about 25 miles. I, I, call, I can call the guy pretty much any day and tell him, hey, I'm going to swing by after work and pick up a, a round bale, and he's like, come on. So uh, makes it easy. I just I do this every time that I, that I swap one out. Um, eventually, I'll get in here with the skid steer, and I'll rake up all of this composted hay, and then I'll spread it out on the pasture. Uh, you can see it doesn't do much uh, sitting here. It gets wet, soggy. Uh, but So I'll go ahead and uh, go inside and get these videos edited up. So again, that's how I feed round bales with very minimal waste. There you go. Have a good one. Thank you all. So just as soon as we got out of the way, uh, these goats come up and start eating and the rest of them are coming. Now we just fed them some grain over there just to try to keep them out of our hair while we were unloading this bale. And they would rather come over here and eat this horse hay than they would rather eat uh, grain. So it's pretty good stuff. That's uh, a testimony to the, to the good quality horse hay that I get off my, my friend. Um, it's good stuff. They would rather eat that than pasture or grain or maybe anything other than rich crackers. Mm -hmm.